name's Susanna, Susanna Marrera, the founder and CEO of an organization called Mawaza. And at Mawaza, what we're trying to do is build a supply chain management tool which can be utilized through the mobile phone so that informal um, shop owners and micro entrepreneurs in sub Saharan Africa can easily access goods like um, fast moving consumer goods, but primarily the non perishable foodstuffs through a simple SMS. There are two things that came into play. Firstly, I was traveling across Africa and I was in Morocco and I came across the, the Moroccan mules. They call them the Moroccan mules. Essentially, they are ladies that cross over into Salta to buy goods and then they pack them on their bags. So we're talking about 80 kilograms worth of foodstuffs and toiletries. And they walk across the border with 80 kilograms on their back. By the time they get to um, Morocco, they have damaged their spines. So this was the first story. And as we walked across the Uganda, Kenda, um, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda borders, we saw the same thing, probably on their heads. And further down into southern Africa, again, always these issues at the border crossings. And we started researching to try and find out what is going on? Why do we have this movement of people trying to access goods? And we found out that it's not that the goods aren't available in their home countries. They, are, they can access the goods at a far cheaper price in the neighboring countries because of taxes, not having to pay taxes. And th this was a starting point for us. And then obviously, seeing the way that technology is being adopted in Africa, we thought we can combine trade or supply chain solutions with a mobile phone tool. With regards to challenges as an entrepreneur, firstly, as a female entrepreneur, there are not many female entrepreneurs. So reaching out to Harambe Network, it gives us access to other female entrepreneurs. Um, in terms of challenges, we're always looking to build your network. It's through the network that we can get extra skills and resources. And definitely, the lack of skills in Africa does impact on the success of our venture, especially something that is quite innovative and we're working in a very informal um, environment where not much work has been done. As the future, we really want to map out this informal supply chain tool so that we can license it to other organizations that want to try and get products into um, these rural communities. Secondly, we also want to build the platform in such a way that our traders can reach their end consumer. So we, we're really trying to touch all the bases from the existing multinationals right to the end consumer. Um, and to give people a picture of hope, to inspire, to let them know that there is so much more that they can do. It's, it's really looking at uplifting communities. That's our, our mission. <laughs>